Hello, this is a tutorial on 4.7c. We're going 4.7c1. We're going to be looking at scale factor, uh, area, and perimeter. So there's a relationship here between these. Sorry about that. Let me get that up there so you can see a little bit better this first box. Um, so we first of all, you know, have to determine whether or not our images are proportional. So here we've got our original, here we've got our dilation. Well, we can look at the sides, and this is we're going to proportional relationship. So 6 is to 12, looks like a 1 to 2 relationship, right? As 10 is to 20. And we could check cross products and see that these are both 120. But we can, we can just see that you know, this side doubles, this side doubles. So yes, they are proportional. And then we're talking about the scale factor. What scale factor was used? And this is where it gets a little confusing. Scale factor, you have to look at what was the original. This was the original. So if this is the original, they used a scale factor of, this is 8 here. They used a scale factor of 2 to create it because they take this 10 times 2 to get to the 20, this 6 times 2 to get to 12. If this were the original, it would be backwards. It would be one half because they'd have to take 20 times one half to get to the 10. All right, so let's look at the original triangle here and see what the relationships are. So the original triangle, the base was, uh, well, the base is 8, the height is 6, and uh, let's see, the perimeter was, this is 10, 14, the perimeter is 24. Sorry about that, the lights just gave way. Now you know why I'm always making uh, these videos in the dark. And the area is going to be 6 times 8, which is 24. Sorry, the 6 times 8, which is 48. We have to divide it by 2, which just gives us 24. All right, so let's look at the new triangle. Well, the new triangle, the base is double. That makes sense because that base is 8. The height is double. Okay. The perimeter... The perimeter, 20 plus 12 plus 16. Well, this is 32 plus 16. This is 48. The perimeter is double. The area, however, is not. We have to take 12 times 16 divided by 2. So 12 times 16 divided by 2 equals 96. So a different relationship here. Uh, what happens to the perimeter? The perimeter doubles. The perimeter doubles. And that's because the scale factor, oops, scale factor is 2. Okay, what happens to the area? The area quadruples. Again, it's a scale factor is 2. Then we square that. That's the worst writing ever. But you know me. All right, you try the same with the bottom. See if you can put that same amount of thought and time into it. Thanks.